Gemini, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will pull some messages that will uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time. Money or love related, same frequency, same thing. So we'll uncover it all. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We're going to be pulling a final message from your angels as well as your unicorn. So that'll be exciting. That'll be fun. But before anything, let's dive right into the juice of it. And that is your truth. And your truth is being masked by your belief systems and your thoughts. See, the thing is you're not your thoughts. And the thing is beliefs are just thoughts you continue to think. Well, where did you get those thoughts from? Where did you create those beliefs from? Were they instilled when you were a child? Were they uh, validated because you kept thinking them and then you received the validation from your outer world because whatever we think about, we receive. So where are you getting these thoughts and these beliefs from? We want you to connect more to your inner truth. So write this down in the comments below right now. I am rich and confident. I am rich and confident. I am rich and confident. It's kind of like a duh, of course, duh. I'm rich and confident. Yeah, that's me. And if you don't have that showing up in your physical reality, it's because your thoughts and your beliefs are leading you to believe something different. So we need you to reconnect back to your truth, beautiful soul, which is your inner knowing. Forget about your beliefs. Forget about your thoughts. They don't serve you at all. What is your inner knowing? What do you know? What is it that you know? You know, maybe grab a pen and paper and write this down. What do you know? What do you know for your life? I know I'm gonna be rich and successful. I know I'm gonna help others. I know I'm a confident person. I know I'm a badass. I know that I can get whatever I want, right? What do you know? Start to get this going because there is a plan. You have the plan, you know the plan, the downloads are there, but more often than not, we are living off of this emotional state uh, from our thoughts and our belief systems and then we're being validated by our emotion, our belief systems in our physical world and we're like, see, this is why everything's off. And it's never that, it's never, never that. So what the first thing we want you to do is maybe burn everything in your life that doesn't, you know, you know, benefit you. Maybe not, you know, like your parents, let's love them living, right? That, that would be nice. But at the end of the day, what we want to do is we want you to literally anything that doesn't leave you feeling that feeling of like rich in confidence. If you focus on it, you'll mimic and mirror that at frequency. So if you focus on something that doesn't leave you feeling rich and confident, you know right there, that thing doesn't serve you. Focusing on the complaining of your coworkers, mm, probably doesn't make you feel rich and confident, right? Probably makes you feel low, kind of makes you feel nasty, kind of makes you want to go eat something. Yeah, probably don't want to focus on that one, right? How about, you know, uh, what your, uh, you know, what your parents are doing or how they're getting older in life and how you really want to be able to help them, but you don't have the money to help them. Eh, probably doesn't make you feel rich and confident, right? So might want to leave that be for a little while, right? That's what we're talking about. Get really practical down to earth, uh, down to the nitty gritty of it. So because everything matters and our words are quite literally uh, how we create our world. So we have to be very focused on what we want and prioritize our lives to achieving that result. Okay, so first things first, let go of the old, doesn't serve you, and start to look for the new. Start to look for the magic, start to look for the fairies. Look for the fairies is the insinuation that magic, joy, and excitement and new possibilities are all around you. But if we are not attuned to that in our awareness, then we don't see it. Think of your reticular activating system. Reticular activating system is a system in our brain hardwired to make sure we see the things that we deem important. The brain thinks, ah, Jem thinks this is important because they keep thinking about it. So if we keep thinking about the worries of our life, then the brain is gonna be like, they must think this is really important. Let's keep letting them focus on this thing, right? So we don't want that. We wanna create new routine. We wanna create new rituals. We wanna create uh, a world around us that reflects beauty, that reflects creativity, that reflects love, joy, excitement. This is the world we wanna create. If you have to put up physical reminders, do that. I have posters on my wall, literally right now. I go down to the local dollar store, grab some colorful posters, grab a big old Sharpie, and I write down the things I wanna remember, right? And that's what it's about. You can use the I am context. You can just use uh, just a reminder of what you're looking for, but either way, it is about implementing a, a plan so that everything that you do in your life is structured so that you're on track to getting the final outcome of what you're looking for. And if that is, you know, respect, if that is more confidence, if that is a better body, if that is more money in the bank account, that means that your energetic frequency has to align with those things, which is the energetic frequency of joy, uh, love, empowerment. That means every decision you make in your today 
has to feel that way. You have to feel empowered by your choices. You have to be in a state of ease in your physical body. You have to be uh, happy with yourself, dedicated to yourself, focused on yourself and your growth, becoming the master of who you are, you see. But the thing is, is you will not become a master of who you are if you are not connected with by the power of your higher self, because then you will just be an avatar running around without a player. Right? What would it be like if we were playing a video game and all of a sudden the avatar turned around and was like, see ya sucker, and went off on its own, right? Maybe it would do well, but maybe it would get eaten alive and it would probably come running back and say, please reconnect, right? And so our higher selves are waiting for us. So at the end of the day, our higher selves are always connected and guiding us. We just don't always feel it because our thinking mind takes us on all this unfocused rampaging around, right? So you want to always remember that your higher self is standing on the top of the mountain. Your avatar self is at the bottom of the mountain being guided upwards. So. When we dial and focus into our higher self's connection, which is the energetic connection of, again, that joy, that ease in the body, right? That inner knowing, that inner knowing, that's when we are able to take time to really reflect and really decide for ourselves, are we planting the seeds? Like am, you're asking yourself, am I planting the seeds that's gonna grow the garden I wanna grow? What do you wanna grow? Do you wanna grow sunflowers? Do you wanna grow fruits? Do you wanna grow vegetables? What are you looking to grow? Right? You gotta know where you're, what you're growing so you know what seeds you're planting in your today. And if that's, disconnected or you're feeling like, well, I've never seen it before. Well, I've never had money before. Well, I've never had love before. Well, I've never had this before. How am I ever going to get that? Well, beautiful soul, the experiences of your life have led you to get, have enough wisdom to accumulate that. On top of that, you have this plethora of wisdom that you've accumulated from your other incarnations that you have access to if you tap into that and it's so profound. It's so beautiful, right? So at the end of the day, there's nothing you have to control. There's nothing you have to figure out. You just have to take time to be curious, play in the realms of energy, play. What would it be like to have your dream life? What would it be like to live in the lifestyle that is your dream? My current, I, I used to, when we were, had all these businesses and, and, and these, and I had this big house and four dogs and, and, you know, all the cars and, you know, all the gizmos and gadgets, just a, just a, just a busy, 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 cluttered, cluttered life, right? And when I was there, when I was in that life, then we realized, and we were in a, you know, a, a, you know, we were in a career that wasn't sustainable. So we had to, I knew we had to move. I knew we had to change. I knew we had, things had to change. And from that place in life, I had the inspiration to say, we got to pack up all this ish. We got to get rid of it all, right? We got to donate it all. And we got to get on computers. We need to live out of backpacks. And we need to travel around the world. We need to be free, right? We need to experience that. And you know, my husband's always on board. Uh, when he feels my power, he feels empowered. That's how it works, right? You feed off each other's power with your relationships, right? You want to give that power and you get that power back. If you show up to the party mopey, you're not going to get no respect. No one's going to listen to you, right? So you got to show up full confidence, inner knowing this is what I know. This is what we got to do. Here's my plan. Here's my thoughts. What do you think? And then your partner comes in and says, I like that. What if we did this? And I say, yeah, I like that, right? It's a partnership, right? That's what you always want to remember. So if you're showing up to the party kind of half assed well, you're going to get that response back and you're going to be like, why don't you ever listen to me? And we all know that doesn't work, right? So at the end of the day, this is what happened. And then at two years later, we were literally traveling around the world on computers. And this kind of process just kind of unfolded organically by the inspirations, the impulses, the knowings, right? So if you're feeling like life is kind of repetitive and you are feeling burnt out and unfocused, beautiful soul, you've got to prioritize in your life what's important for you. And sometimes that means you got to let go of the relationships that don't serve you. It means you got to let go of the distractions around food. It means you got to let go of the complaining or the focus of the what's wrong and you got to start to prioritize your focus on the where you're going on your purpose you see and you got to really dial that in right now I'm at a place in my life where I'm not taking no ish I'm getting to where I want to go and that means literally I'm juicing I'm not even eating anymore this is gonna bring so much energy gives you all the nutrients you need and even if you went on like a cleanse like a raw fruits and vegetables cleanse well your job is done because that's one thing that's 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 out of your life right that ease is there I know I'm making the right choices for my health I know I'm the right my, making the right choices for my life that state of ease I know I'm making the right choices to be the better version of myself ease in the body energy blockages are created from dis-ease when we're not making the right choices or the specific choices that we know we want to do 
to become the person we want to become. But you got to know what person you want, what kind of lifestyle you want in order to dial in your choices of today. And you got to get yourself into a routine. You got to build that routine so that it becomes second nature so that you can build and build and build from that routine. Every day meditate at the same time. Every day journal at the same time. That way you can build that skill, become the master at it. It can't be like one day I feel like it, one day I don't. That's reacting to your emotions. That won't fly. Your emotions don't matter. Your emotions are a reaction to what you're looking and thinking about. Forget all of that. You have to connect to your inner knowing. You have to be responsive to your inner knowing. You have to trust in yourself. You have to set up structure in your life so you don't negotiate with yourself. Don't neglect your needs. This is the time for you, beautiful soul. Make this happen for yourself. You've got this. Your unicorn message is open to abundance. Believe you deserve, accept plenty and prosperity. This is the card of bounty. Abundance is your birthright. A wealth of happiness, excitement, satisfaction, creative freedom, success, love, and friendship, as well as meritable prosperity, material prosperity, excuse me, is available to you from a loving and benevolent source. The universe is plentiful and generous. Your guidance is to open up to the higher possibilities and opportunities that are accessible to you. With this card, your unicorn is reminding you that you can attract whatever you believe you deserve. Magnify your levels of deservingness to receive all that your heart and soul desire. You merit abundance simply because you are a beloved child of the universe. Knowing this enables you to consciously to expand and draw more to you. After Information for this card is all that I need comes to me easily. All that I need comes to me easily. You can even write this down in the comments below. All that I need comes to me easily. It is the truth. It is the source truth. All you have to do is be in a state of ease to receive it. So if there's something in your life, an action step that you know you're neglecting, that will influence and impact your belief in yourself because you know you're not doing something you know you want to do to get to where you want to go. That's why it's so important for us to create this routine and create this structure. When we move our bodies, we clear our energy, we're better connected. When we go on these cleanses and eat foods from the earth and we feel grounded and pure, we're more connected. We are more able to receive. That's why we do these things. Not because it's healthy or because it's part of a group or a club. Forget all of that conditioning bull, uh, bull, 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 um, shiitake mushrooms, okay? Forget all of that. All you have to do is connect to what you want and align your life and your actions so that you get that. You deserve it. You are worthy of it. No more taking nothing from nobody, beautiful soul. You deserve the absolute best. First step, ground yourself, says the angels. So, when you detach from the awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can fulfill an earth, a, a lovely earthly life. Balance and grounding. So you got to get yourself grounded. You are not going to be grounded if you're lost in your thoughts. I want to do this. I want to do this. I haven't done this yet. I suck. Everything's wrong. This is bad. This is bad ungrounded. You're, you're literally in your mind, not in your physical body. The physical body leaves us feeling grounded. That's why you want to create a routine that leaves you feeling grounded. My routine that I started out with was I woke up early, I journaled, I automatic wrote, I did a little bit of exercise, meditation, and I spent time with myself. I went outside in nature. That was a big one for me. Every time I left my toxic nine to five environment, I didn't let those thoughts get to me. I didn't let that energy get to me. I understood I'm about to walk into, you know, the, the, you know, the snake pit all good. Cause I'm in my strong self because I was conditioning myself, re reprogramming my beliefs in myself, my ability to command my energy, practiced what I was learning in the morning in my nine to five environment. When I got out of my nine to five environment, I went for a long walk in nature, listening to an audio book of Dr. Wayne Dyer or something beneficial. Um, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza, Abraham Hicks, something that was going to influence my mind in the way that I knew I wanted to go. That's what it's about. Take command of your life. You've got this, but it is up to you to take the action to do so. And if you give your power away by creating excuses in your life about how you're not this, you're not feeling well this day, this happened, then you're giving your power away and you'll never live the life you truly intended to live. And of course, suffering is a choice and our life is our choice, but abundance is also a choice. So beautiful soul, let go of those things that no longer serve you. Take action, prioritize what you want and go and get this. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like, and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.